This is suicide. Do not fear. I will stay with you. Hello. <laughs> Tell them why the movie is appeal for everyone, even female audience, not only gamers. I was moved by the story. I love the story, mm. and I and I love this character Corona. And then it was later I, when I met with the director mm -hmm. that he introduced me to Warcraft, and mm. and and then it seemed like I was the only person that in the world that didn't know about him. My friends and family were like, "You don't know about Warcraft?" <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. But um, I think what it is is that. Men or women, right? Mm. You, we all want to have an escape to mm. this magical mm. place, and so it satisfies on that level. We, Duncan has created a visual fantasy, mm. and sort of just it's incredible. And sometimes it feels as if you're flying mm. the vantage point. Mm. But more importantly, um, which I think speaks to women and women, we want to be moved in our heart and soul. But I believe men do too. Mm. If you want to have a story that captivates your soul, um, and that's what is at the heart of it. This is why I love the script. It's, mm -hmm. And 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 honestly, for, I I think men like it too, but women love love, right? And mm -hmm. Garona, even though she goes through this great journey, mm -hmm. she's a warrior, she has great action and adventure. She also has a, a great romance with Lothar. Mm -hmm. It's a very tender love story. Oh, and, I see. Yeah, but I think men like love too, they just don't want to admit it. <laughs> so, Garona is very special, half orc, half yes. human. So that's why, like, you don't have to, uh, you you cannot do the motion capture technology, right? So what is what are your challenges like when you're prepared for the role? Well, the first challenge in becoming half orc, half human is mm -hmm. just to look like it. Mm -hmm. So, so they wanted me to build more muscle, and yeah. and so I look like I could potentially be half orc, and so that was that was hard. I have to tell you, I mean. There's two and a half hours a day, six days a week, stunt training. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's stunt training, I'm sorry, just I physical training, just to look right. Yeah. Which is you're just like, sometimes you look in the mirror and you go, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then there's a piece of candy staring at you. Like, Eat me. <laughs> and I go, oh, I can't do it. So it was, <laughs> it was challenging. Um, and, but then it became something that I, I love quite mm -hmm. a bit. So then that, so we, that was a physical challenge. And then learning how to actually do the stunts that Garona does, mm -hmm. that was important. So we learned stunt, uh, sword play and knives and, and various forms of physical defense and mm -hmm. learning how to ride a horse. Mm -hmm. And it was, all of it was mm -hmm. hard. But it was all something that I came to love because okay. it helped me feel like Corona. It okay. really helped me become, find my strength and and, and 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 you know what? It really helped me as Paula. Mm -hmm. uh, it, playing Corona changed me tremendously. Oh. Uh, it gave me strength in my mind and my wow. heart in ways I didn't know were possible. It's great to hear that. So, how do you feel like when you're working with Travis Fimmel and Daniel Nu on set? Nice to be around good-looking men. Mm. <laughs> They're great actors too, but I mean, it's um, it's I mean, they are both um very attractive. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Daniel unfortunately had to wear um a, yeah. a blue PJs <laughs> from head to toe. <laughs> so you'd see him before work, and then when he was doing work, he looked like an alien. He had uh, white balls all over, okay. and uh, these little black dots all over his mm -hmm. face. But that's what was so amazing about mm -hmm. his performance. Mm -hmm. I I need costume and mm -hmm. props and it, all of that really helps me find a character and to see Daniel become Gul'dan, mm. truly he really is that person behind uh, that CGI that you yeah. see. He started to change the way he walked mm. and the way he talked and he fully enveloped this character in that outfit which <laughs> I might, oh. was very impressed with. So um, uh, it, it was really, it was so much fun. It's always fun to play with people that are really committed to the role, mm -hmm. and, um, and and that's what all of us, we had so much fun together because it's this great big game of make-believe. Yeah. That was my favorite thing growing okay. up is just pretending. So I heard that your six-year-old son have seen the movie, so how did he feel about it? He hasn't seen the movie. He's, really? um, he's seen the trailer. Ah, so, okay. so he's like, are you a good work, mommy? <laughs> we have to see. But he was with me a lot. Of course, he was with me all the time when I was making the mm -hmm. film. And he loved the idea. We called me Orc Mommy. Oh. And, um, he loved my. I had pointy ears mm -hmm. as well, and he liked these ears. So I tried mm -hmm. to after work every day. Put, we put them on. And, okay. Um, and it was a fun set to have a child at because there was horses and people oh. dressed up as all these characters, and so um, it was fun. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope you. that will crop doing well at the box office. Yeah. Oh, my God.